uh, to make the the glowing bedroom neon thing, you need an Arduino. You can buy these online for like 70 bucks, pre-assembled and it comes with shit. And um, no more battery unless you plan to run it off uh, DC. Uh, piece of wire, which I just got from a coat hanger. I just chopped it off. I'm gonna put that aside. Um, wire, just any wire will do. A soldering iron, solder, and LEDs. Uh, I'm gonna use five for this project. Um, you can use any color you want, but I'm using blue because I think it looks cool. And um, you can buy these online. I bought ten for like dollar fifty. Um, you can just get them from Radio Shack, Dick Smith, wherever. Okay, first thing you want to do is uh, LEDs. Uh, I have one short leg and one long leg. Short leg is the negative, and I want you to bend all the negatives down, just so you know which. So when you're soldering, you don't get confused and shit. So just bend all the negatives down. And I've already done that here. Get all the bent legs and lay them down on the table. And you want to solder all the bent legs together, but with about that much distance in between. It's about 10-15 centimeters. So, cut some wire, all to around about the same size. Doesn't have to be exact, but if it's even, it's like it looks a bit better. Uh, I'll cut more. I'll cut more wire like, as I need to go. So. Strip your ends. I just use my teeth. And just solder it to the negative leg. A uh, good trick for soldering LEDs is um, get yourself a tissue box, get a pen, poke a hole in the middle. But don't poke a hole too big, just make it big enough for the LED to fit. And um, just stick your LED in there. And it will hold it up so you don't need an extra pair of hands or nothing. I'll just twist the wire around the LED leg just so it's a good connection. It saves me from holding it as well. So I just heat up, heat it up a little bit, and then just dab on the solder. Now that you've uh, got all the LED legs soldered together, you want to do the same for positive end. 
So just solder all the positives together. The ones that are not soldered to anything. You're gonna solder these ones. Okay, I just finished soldering both positives and negatives to the LEDs, so they're wired in parallel now. Um, now you need to get yourself two long pieces of wire. Um, I'm going to be using short pieces of wire because it doesn't really matter how long mine are. And now get one side of your LED strip, doesn't matter which side because it's in parallel, and connect one wire to the short leg, the short bent leg, that's always your negative remember, so I'm going to use a white one for my negative, just so I remember, and wrap it around and just quickly solder it one second pause it and solder as well okay so there's my positive positive wire negative wire and my LED strip. It's time to turn this shit off. Now this is where you need your coat hanger wire. Um, get yourself a roll of duct tape. One sec, I'll go get it. Duct tape. And make it same length as your wire. Now, like, put the wire right in the center of it. Wrap the wire in duct tape. That will stop any short outs. Get another strip of duct tape, same length. Now just lay your LEDs onto it. Make sure the LEDs stick out the top so you can see the light. Now stick your piece of wire that has the duct tape around it, just so it holds everything out flat. Now there's your LED strip, make sure all the LEDs are pointing up. Uh, your positive and negative wires should be hanging out the end. Um, and there's your neon strip. Uh, now it's time to work on the Arduino. Get your Arduino and um, just plug it into your computer. And um, I'll show you the code for it. It's up there on the side, but I'll, I'll walk you through it.